my name is Dan Brook. I live at 1421 Harlan Lane, Lake Forest. Uh, telephone number is 847-295-1430. And uh, what I like to do is, um, I've been a resident of Lake Forest for 21 years, uh, Lake Bluff, tax-paying business owner for six. I'm an owner of the Racquet Club of Lake Bluff, which is in partnership with, uh, Racket, with the uh, Lake Forest, Lake Bluff Recreation Departments, managing their year-round tennis program. As a resident of the community, I want to, I want, what I want is the best for the people in this community. The ability to use the West Campus Tennis Course for recreational purposes and resident play at the expense of Lake Bluff and Lake Forest taxpayers I find unacceptable. This morning I'd like to discuss a few points here. Uh, one of the points is the difference between park and recreational tennis programs and uh, for-profit club programming. Uh, Henry Van Dixon mentioned a part of that and the shortage of public tennis courts in the community. I first would like to clarify the difference between a park and recreational program and a for-profit club program. Park and recreational programs are generally a low-cost introduction to tennis, usually hiring non-professional instructors and are managed minimally to break even. Programs are primarily run in the summer unless they have or own their own, have access to indoor facilities. These programs are targeted to beginner and intermediate level tennis and the tennis players, adults, and children. Communities with year-round programs are closer to a private for profit club in that they hire, hire, hire professional instructors and have programs for adult and children from beginners to advanced level players. And again, at marginal profit and are usually available only to local residents. A for profit club program generally hire professional instructors to provide programming for adults, children, and most importantly, their members do not have to be residents of the community in which they operate. As a side note, the USTA and the United States Tennis Association has completed a study to determine the best avenue to grow tennis in this country. Through this study, they have determined that the park and recreational venue is the most effective way to grow tennis. The price of a park or recreational program is typically between four and six dollars an hour, a quart hour. Whereas the price for a for-profit would range anywhere from twenty to twenty-five dollars an hour. This year, the first this year was the first year that the Park and Recreational Department and I have decided to offer a wider range of programming in both quantity, quality, and price. I'm currently uh, running the Park and Recreation Program for the Lake Forest Community, as indicated in, in this. These operate at a price lower than for-profit clubs. I can tell you that until this year. We generally, generally um, operated a break even in most of these programs. As a matter of fact, one of them were definitely in the red. Hopefully, by providing better instructors and expanding programming, we can continue to grow the game in the, of tennis in, this, in our community. My second point is the looming shortage of tennis courts in our community. Last year, Lake Forest Lake Bluff lost 22 courts for various reasons, leaving the community with 28 courts for 30,000 plus residents. Even if the high school let the community have all 12 courts, there would be still a 10-court deficit from the last year. Of these 28 courts, most are in need of repair or too few in number to run a program effectively. As of today, the Rec Department program has 13 courts available at three sites to run programs. This gives the Rec program programming 455 court hours weekly to run our programs. As a note, the Junior Tennis Program, which is running at maximum capacity currently one minute okay uh, consumes 25 percent of these hours and that's only a small part of our program currently if we expand our program uh, on the programs we intend to in include in next year's summer's catalog we will most certainly run out of available courts in conclusion we need the lake forest west campus courts to keep from turning our residents away we have had to adjust our junior programs to, due to current conditions at west park thus increasing participation in other park sites. We, need, we really need the Lake Forest campus to ensure the future of our park programs. And uh, we please would like to have the high school courts back to our community and so doing to ensure the future of tennis for everyone in this community. Thank you.